Um, hi guys, and welcome um, to a quick look at the um, Mark 43 diecast. Um, I will say this is the um, Sideshow Exclusive Edition, so you get the um, red eyed um, light up feature battle damaged helmet. Um, one really cool thing is that the face plates on the two helmets you get are interchangeable. Um, so you can actually have so you can actually have the um, exclusive face plate on um, either of the um, helmets which I thought was really cool because I um, chose to use the faceplate on the, the Tony Stark the um, your Tony Stark portrait instead of the um, normal faceplate um, this section here is interchangeable um, so when you open it it will um, look like it's closed the die cast um, is really cool. You got the shoulders, the legs. Um, this guy is really heavy to pick up. Um, um, now the last Iron Man figure I bought before this was um, Mark. Ooh, was Mark um, Seven. So the first Iron Man that appeared in um, an Avengers movie and I thought at the time that its articulation um, was great but this Iron Man here takes Iron Man articulation to a whole new level um, it's got these flaps on the side which allow you to um, have more waist movement and move the legs out a lot more um, you don't have any, um, the only real thing is that you don't have any battle damaged um, pieces this time around. Although the chest plate is removable and I've seen people place the Mark 42 um, chest plates in here. Um, yes, yeah, so when I first, when this figure was first announced I was a bit disappointed that it was just um, Mark 42 with the color scheme reversed, but seeing since I never actually um, purchased um, Mark 42 I didn't mind so much um, so yeah, the um, articulation on this guy is crazy um, there is some weathering to the paint to the paint job um, which is done quite nicely the Tony Stark um, head sculpt you get with it is pr is pretty flawless um, now I've still kept I've kept the other two um, helmets in the box so I won't show the the red eye feature I will say that you only get enough um, you only get enough batteries to have one helmet lit up at a time um, so you can't have all um, three lit up I really like this base um, you get the You get this mini screwdriver thing to help you with all the batteries. Um, the screws are pretty small for this guy. Um, and you also get the fiddle tool um, to help you put the batteries in also. Um, but the display stand is really cool. You got all the rocks. And then you got the um, Avengers logo that says 43. Um, the, I'll just turn him around. Um, so he still has the flaps that come out. 
Um, the switch for the chest is just there. Um, this pole, that's holding him as metal, um, which is really good. You also have these little sections at the um, back of the leg, well, back of the um, ankle that vent out to. Um, which is also pretty cool. Um, so like I said, this guy is amazing. Um, the light switches for the arms um, pretty good this time around. They're They're just incorporated um, to the side of the arm there. That one there, you can see lights up through the um, through the fist because I haven't got the actual proper repulsor hand on there. But as you can see, the lights there um, are quite bright. And um, yeah, so you can have Iron Man look up um, a fair bit this time, and you can see that the um, the head sculpt is really, really good. And I'll put that um, face plate back on. It just um, magnetizes back on. And so, um, yeah, you can see the, the battle damage um, there. And like, so that will look um, really good, the metal damage head would look really good if it was on one of the light up sculpts. Um, I also like that, now I have seen someone actually break the shoulder, but um, these arm bits here also pull out to allow you to be able to do a lot more um, articulation with the arms, especially moving it um, up and down. But also, um, Let's you do a, let's you do pretty good flight poses and whatnot. So yeah, um, a crazy amount of articulation with this guy. Um, I don't agree with the crazy eBay prices that this guy was going for. Um, I missed out on the initial sideshow release, but was able to pick him up from um, NMA Exchange, one of my local retailers, um, at an extremely fair price, um, considering since the sky is going upwards of $800 on eBay at the moment. Um, it'll probably drop a bit once the regular version comes out without the, um, without the battle damage part, but, um, or the light up part, the extra helmet, but, um, this guy is well worth getting. Um, so long as you get him for a reasonable price. Um, and of course we also have the big difference. Um, so it was a big price, well, $50 price difference between um, 42 and this guy. And I guess it's the display stand. But we also get this um, Battle Damaged Ultron. His arm... Um, moves up and down, and his head moves um, side to side, and is removable, um, I think. I'm not going to try it. And um, he has his own little base, so he can just... sit on the base like that. Um, or you can have him... You can actually um, position one of the hands to grab him like a chokehold. So, um... I'll probably be picking up an Iron Legion um, to pose with Ultron and um, one of the centuries. If I can um, afford to get them when they come out, depending on what their price point is. But yeah, um, this guy is great. Amazing box, um, amazing figure. Thanks for um, watching, guys. So yeah, I just thought I'd um, show you a quick little um, demonstration of kind of like very basic um, 
posing but just also um, show that articulation so yeah I've just got him as if he's um, landed or about to take off um, type of thing the Neutron's down there holding onto the um, battle damage faceplate so I hope you enjoyed a look at um, the best Iron Man, what I, what I, well, what I consider to be the best Iron Man figure to date. Thanks, guys.